This is Eva Smith. Welcome to the PACEIT Data Management Program Data Architecture Section 3.2. Upon completion of this section, you will be able to describe common enterprise architecture frameworks and how they're used. So our agenda for this section is what are the design components of an enterprise architecture? What are components of the Zachman framework specifically? And what are components of the Open Group Architecture Framework, or TOGAF? The Zachman framework for enterprise architecture is a matrix consisting of six columns with six rows. The columns represent the aspects describing the who, what, when, where, why, and how of an enterprise, whereas the rows represent different perspectives of the enterprise in relation to the aspects. For example, row one is the planner's view, row two is the business user's view, row three may represent an architect's view, and row four is a developer's view. In the cells are artifacts that can be created to describe each aspect and perspective, such as models and schematics. In TOGAF, there are four kinds of architecture that are commonly accepted as subsets of an overall enterprise architecture. These are the business, data, application, and technology architectures. The combination of data architecture and applications architecture is also referred to as the information system architecture in TOGAF. TOGAF was originally designed to support the technology architecture. Over its years of evolution, however, it has acquired many of the facets of a framework and method for enterprise architecture. There are many similarities and overlaps between these frameworks. For example, the four architectures described in TOGAF can align loosely with the rows in the Zachman framework. However, TOGAF provides more of a methodology for implementing an enterprise architecture function in an organization whereas the Zachman framework provides an ontology for understanding and describing all of the important components of an enterprise. In this course, we only touch on these, but an entire course of study could be dedicated to enterprise architecture. I encourage you to deepen your understanding of this area. As you work through the readings and videos in this section, keep in mind the following questions. What are the common components of an enterprise architecture? What are the aspects and perspectives of Zachman framework? What are the components of the open group architecture framework? A couple of primary takeaways related to this section. A well-designed enterprise architecture provides a solid foundation for successful data integration and information systems design. Like a set of building blueprints and schematics, it also enables an organization to understand the impacts of change and make more informed decisions. 